Hi everyone, Sandra Duran Wilson here and welcome to Mixed Media Soul Sparks. Every week I bring you mixed media techniques, inspirational exercises and studio tips. This week I've got some really exciting things to share with you. And I've been shopping at the home supply store, like your big box building supply store. This stuff is called adhesive grout. And it's a mixture that they make for doing tile work. So it's both a grout and adhesive. And it's those qualities that we're going to use to make it stick to this fabric. Now this is just kind of a heavy muslin that I bought at the fabric store. And I have cut a piece down to size that I'm going to use. And I start sometimes with getting this just slightly wet. The other important piece, I have it on a piece of plastic because it can get a little messy. And you saw I just sprayed a small amount of water in there and I'm rubbing it into the fabric. You're going to need a, a knife. Get a different one here. And this has a really nice creamy consistency. It's like ice cream, but it's not. It's gritty. So I'm using my knife and I'm really pressing this down into the fabric. I want it to make contact. And if I need to miss a little water, if it's drying out too fast, I can do that. There we go. If I just kind of went like this and didn't really press it in, it could pop off of this fabric later on. Don't worry, we're going to get some nice texture on here with just this first layer. You can hear that grittiness. So once I have this on here pretty well, pressed down in that first layer, I'm going to come back in with more and make it a little thicker. And I use the knife to create texture. Now if you put it on really thick, which you don't really want to do, because that might pop off also. It's also going to take it longer to dry if you put it on really thick. I'm pressing this down. And then I'm going to come back and make a little bit of texture. So I use the knife, pick some up. You see this? I pick a lot up on my knife like that. And then I come back in. and just kind of drag it over to get this texture. Now this is going to have to dry for about, depends on temperature and moisture and all of that, but it could be anywhere from three to four hours, even overnight. And what I have done is I have found that if I check it regularly and I find a, a time when it is almost dry but not quite dry, then I can take it and wrinkle it and I can get some crackles. But I already made one, so we're going to switch this wet one for, I'm going to keep it here just in case I need to put some textures into it. Now this one I just set on top of this painted panel. But here you can see where I have taken it and crinkled it when it was at that certain point where I could still bend it. See how this one is really uh, stiff? I can't get those crackles. So what I'm looking for is a point between, between when it's super wet like this, because now it's just going to kind of stick to itself. But it's getting, it's kind of that halfway dry point and it's still flexible and then I can crinkle that and I can get cracks within it. Because once it's completely dry, it's difficult to do that. So it's that Goldilocks thing. 
So when this dries, it is pretty well stuck on here. You see some of the little pieces fall off. But this is really fun to paint on. And if you use transparent and thin layers for your first layers, this is a sepia. And I'm just going to spray a little water on here. Once this is dry, it doesn't rehydrate. It stays the same. When I say rehydrate, that would mean that if I got it wet, then it'd get all mushy again. And I'm going to add a little bit of this green. Some more water. And you see how it just kind of, let me do that again where you can really see it in here, how it just flows into these uh, crevices. If I put it on thick, it stays on the surface. But if I come back with water, that's where it moves. That's where it gets really pretty. And I'm still knocking some of it off. But once I get this painted to the way I want it, and I can add multiple layers, then I will seal it. But I like to put it on like this, and then spray some water, and then just really move it around. I can even come back in and remove some. And I think if I have a little quinacridone gold, I might add some of that to this piece. Because the, the sepia is much more brown, whereas the quinacridone gold is um, it's in there. This is one of my favorite colors. And you'll see what it does. Well, let's just put it out here, just to be safe. So I sprayed this water on here. And now, when I take that gold in, you can see how it really brightens up all those other colors. And I can spray it with a lot of water and rotate it. Let these colors start to, to move and blend. Big difference than putting it on really strong and thick like that and then coming back in with this. And then I like to take some off. It's the painter's dance. You put some on, you take some off, you build up these layers, and then when you like the result of it, when you're happy with that, I mean, you can let this dry and then come back in and continue to add colors. Then I would come back in with a matte medium. I wouldn't use a gloss because that doesn't really work well with this grittiness of this material. I would use a matte medium just to seal it. And then I can actually, say, adhere it to this canvas after it completely dries. And I would use probably a soft gel or a regular gel, matte or gloss, it doesn't matter. Just put a good amount on the surface, put this down, and uh, put some plastic wrap on top, and then take your brayer and to really adhere it, adhere it down. OK, so you never know where you might find art supplies. I love to shop all of the aisles in the home building department. So find yourself some adhesive grout and some fabric, and have some fun. And thanks for joining me this week, and I love to see your comments below and let me know what you would like to see in future episodes. And as always, check out the website for upcoming courses. Thanks. Join the community and share your creations on social. Use the hashtag Mixed Media Soul Sparks. I look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section.